Yo, what's up guys? It's Cloak Teamer, aka Storm Noob here. And I wanted to give a brief, I don't know, complaint. I'm trying to sound a little more enthusiastic, but I'm trying to give a brief complaint about this Zoe Burger. Or Zoe Burger, whatever the hell her name is. I'm going to move for Biss on Burger King now. But, <clears throat> recently I've been seeing this thing, because I'm subscribed to O'Nickel. And he's been updating everybody about this Zoe Burger. So I said, hey, I gotta look into this. Now I'm not looking into Zoe Burger because of her attention whoreness. I'm just looking into Zoe Burger because this person is apparently a Twitch streamer who did twerking for little young kids and then suddenly wants to move on to YouTube because they got banned for being a stupid ass. So then suddenly now we got Zoe Burger on YouTube. Who garnished a lot of popularity over telling her fans she's switching over. And after that happened, now we got Zoe Burger Tube. <sighs> and basically itself, it's just Zoe Burger twerking, jerking, making little kids scream. I don't know, jizz their pants little kids. And it gets really annoying seeing stuff like this because... Uh, lately they've been updating that now Zoe Burger is going to start getting 1 million subscribers. She's going to be posting nude content. Now you know me. I'm not shy from looking at pornography. So what I would say is yeah I did look up the Zoe Burger nudes that people were talking about earlier. And she is just ugly as holy hell. Like, uh, at first I thought she was just some sort of blonde chick, but then when you get closer to looking at her, she's just ugly. Uglier than this Roadhog right here. Is how I can best compare it. Now, I'm not saying this out of jealousy. I'm not saying this out of anger. Probably out of anger, but the fact is that at 1 million subscribers, she's apparently saying she's going to leak nude nudes of herself. But most of her fans are little kids, so as one person said... She is considered a pedophile. And it's pretty annoying now that she has to rely on her own sexuality just to gain popularity. And that's pretty annoying now because you have hard working YouTubers like animators and stuff. Uh, well, I'm probably going to get off topic to talk about this. But now, I don't know. YouTube, people just... I don't know. People just get confused nowadays. <coughs> you got good content, bad content, shitty content, and holy hell, why did you post this content? And for good content, I would say something original, not a parody, not a gameplay video where some guy's just talking on the mic like I'm doing right now. And basically stuff that you worked hard to make. And nowadays it's just everything. And if you want to be popular, you have to make a parody. Like top 10, Five Nights at Freddy's jerking off in the channel something. And, I don't know. Whenever I see an animator, they have to make a parody of something. Like now, animators are making Overwatch parodies or Five Nights at Freddy's parodies. Uh, one person I hate so much right now is uh, the Game Theory. He, he has to always make a video about whatever's popular right now. <clears throat> and he jacks off as soon as anything Five Nights at Freddy related comes up because he knows that's going to be revenue up the ass. And back to Zoe Burger. She relies on popularity by using her sexuality, which is annoying. She's ugly as holy hell. I don't think no amount of surgery could fix that. But because she's so open about her sexuality with this twerking and revealing nude po pictures, she has no shame over herself, so she just uses it as a way to gain popularity. And this whole YouTube system allowing stuff like this to happen, where kids could easily gain access to it, makes me worry for the future. Because YouTube is basically a big site right now. And you know, most of these popular YouTubers, their fans are going to be little kids. I hate to say it, but most fans of popular YouTubers are kids. And you can tell by the YouTubers content. And you got to imagine, would I like this or would a little kid like this? Because I doubt any grown man would look at a guy screaming on the mic while playing video games. And I don't know. 
Little kids just love that. They go crazy for that. Especially with this whole skipping the frame thing, or I just keep forgetting what it's called. Uh, let me remember. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll try to think about it while I'm talking. Uh, but usually YouTubers just like rely on anything popular and just gameplay videos. I guess gameplay videos are pretty good for popular YouTubers because they don't really have to do much. They just have to record their gameplay, talk over it, or make a script or something and talk over it. And bam, you got a million views right there. Probably put a clickbait thumbnail that you photoshopped poorly, but still people would love it. <sighs> and I don't know. I really don't watch any of the Zoe Burgers contents, but I know that after what everybody's been saying, what she's going to do, and it's just uh, kind of hard to stand and not talk about it because something like this is just way out of proportion. So taking stuff too far of your own popularity and with that I don't have any more to add to this except if you want to be a popular youtuber at the moment focus your fans on little kids and do a bunch of time skip frames or whatever they call it where you're having one frame then all of a sudden you, your voice just skips to another voice and maybe the screen fixes I don't like doing that because it's lazy editing and I know I like to take everything in one recording so with that have a good one I don't care about likes or dislikes I don't care about subscribers so with that enjoy the rest of your day or something here comes McCree I think I'm trying to wait for something here but I don't know all right see ya